Honor Christians Associating with Irreligious Persons for Their Good by Richard Cecil. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Christ is an example to us of entering into mixed society, but our imitation of him herein must admit of restrictions. A feeble man must avoid danger. If any one could go into society as Christ did, then let him go, let him attend marriage feasts and Pharisees' houses. Much depends on a Christian's observing his calling, the openings which providence may make before him. It is not enough to say that he frequents public company in order to retard the progress of evil, but when in company of people of the world we should treat him kindly and tenderly, with feeling and compassion. They should be assisted if they are inclined to receive assistance. But if a Christian falls into the society of a mere worldling, it must be like the meeting of two persons in a rain. They will part as soon as possible. If a man loves such company, it is an evil symptom. It is a Christian's duty to maintain a kind intercourse, if practicable, with his relatives, and he must duly appreciate their state. If not religious, they cannot see and feel and taste his enjoyments. They accommodate themselves to him, and he accommodates himself to them. It is much a matter of accommodation on both sides. Avoid disgusting such friends unnecessarily. A precise man, for instance, must be humoured. Your friends set down your religion, perhaps, as a case of humour. Cultivate good sense. If your friends perceive you weak in any part of your views and conduct, they will think you weak in your religion. Avoid vain jangling. There is a disposition in such friends to avoid important and pinching truth. If you will converse with them on the subject of religion, they will often endeavour to draw you on to such points as predestination. They will ask you what you think of the salvation of infants and of the heathen. All this is meant to throw out the great question. Seize favourable occasions, not only the molia tempora fandi, but when public characters and public events furnish occasions of profitable reflection. Bring before your friends the extreme childishness of a sinful state. Treat worldly amusements as puerile things. People of the world are sick at heart of their very pleasures.